Some women only want you as a pen pal. You know what I'm saying? Some women only want you as a FaceTime buddy, as a texting buddy, call, a call buddy, a hotline pal. You know what I'm talking about? A Dr. Phil. And we're just going to have to accept this and maneuver through it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you how. First, this is Tarek Talks. I'm Tarek, and I'm going to be talking my shit. So check me out. All right. Subscribe for more men's health, fitness and dating conversations and discussions. It's some good stuff. Y'all tune in. Check me out. All right. So anyway, yes, unfortunately, fellas, a lot of women will use you for attention. We know this. We, we've discovered this. We ran into instances where we realized, dang, this chick didn't even really have any type of interest. She just was really using me as some kind of filler or some kind of entertainment for entertainment purposes, right? I know it's frustrating. I know it is. Trust me, I get it. It's happened to me. It's happened to everybody. It's happened to the best of us, okay? But it's all good, though, because with every problem, there's a what? Solution, okay? And I'm going to tell y'all what, man. I've said this before. Back when I first started, like, internet dating, so to speak, when it when it was hot, when it was popping, like, 2015, when it first really b began, of course you had chicks using, still doing that attention thing, you know what I'm saying? That's always going to happen. That's, that's going to happen regardless, whether we have social media or not. It wasn't bad, though, you know what I mean? I was, I was actually getting chicks out, you feel me? I, and and it, was, it was working, you understand what I'm saying? And even chicks in real life, you know, you get their number and because chick, don't get it twisted. They won't just use you over social media for attention. They'll do that shit in real life, too. Right. Um, you know, it, it wasn't too bad. But nowadays, with, with with social media becoming part of our life with this artificial intelligence age and artificial intelligence, you guys, that's the real problem. It's not that that thing that happened. And you know what I'm talking about? The whole the woo flu, all that good stuff. It's artificial intelligence. You guys need to start paying attention to that a little more. That was my little tech rant right there, right? But with artificial intelligence, we're becoming so ingrained into this virtual reality. A lot of chicks, bro, I'm going to tell you this right now. A lot of men too, but a lot of chicks are living in a virtual reality. Their whole life revolves around Instagram and Snapchat. They're trapped in this virtual this virtual maze, this virtual reality. It's like a reality outside of a reality. And I'm just, I'm letting y'all know this. It, it is what it is. You can try to deny it, but it is what it is, right? But like I said, with every problem, there's a what solution. It's all good though. Not every chick you meet is going to be after your attention. Even though there is a lot of that, it runs rampant, but not all of them, Right. And the way that you combat this, and I'm talking about chicks that only want your attention, is to quickly get to the point. I always be telling y'all, quickly get to the point, right? And like I told y'all, the more you develop your, your body, the more you develop your social skills, your confidence, the more you get ingrained into your passion and whatever it is that you like doing and have a social life, the, the the better you can become at this and a, a little more so you get a little more success rate you get less of those attention seeking chicks and more chicks that are actually down right it's not gonna go away completely okay it's not gonna go away completely you're still gonna get attention seekers but it's gonna kind of not be as bad okay but the way you bypass these chicks is to get to the point two-step process get to the point don't be texting them for weeks on end like you, you're her girlfriend, right? See, when you guys text these chicks for weeks on end, you know what you know what that reminds me of? My, my, that, that reminds me of my mama, man. I love my mama to death. But she will be on the phone for hours talking to her homegirls. You feel me? All the women in my family, they'll be on the phone for hours talking about fucking nothing, right? Love them to death. I love, love, love my ladies to death. Love, love all the ladies in my family to death. They're my heart. But it's just something I observed growing up. Like, my mom would be on the phone for hours. I'm like, damn, that's what it reminds me of. You're basically turning into her her little chat buddy, her chatty patty, right? You don't want to be no chatty patty. You want to get straight to the point. As soon as you get her number, if whether you online or whether you in person, the next day or so, just be like, hey, 
uh, this is so and so. When are you free to get together for for some drinks or hookah, whatever your your method is? And sometimes, fellas, like I said, you're gonna get chicks that just completely ignore what you say or completely flake off. Bam, you know you know who was using you for attention. And then sometimes you're gonna get chicks that are down. You feel me? It's it's a great little filter system. So with the chicks that that want to keep talking on the phone and be like, I'm not ready, or they kind of ignore what you just said, leave them alone, bro. X, as soon as you get vibes that she's, you know what I'm saying, on this kind of evasive type of stuff, X, on to the next one. What, like, ever since I've implemented this strategy, I've been implementing this shit for, for some time now. I kind of did it naturally sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Even when I was quote unquote beta, I'd be like, damn, this broad ain't even, she ain't talking about nothing, you know what I'm saying? And I'll be on to the, to the next one because I'm like, look, if I can't see you in person, what am I, what are we doing here? You know, I'm not, I, I'm not trying to be your chatty patty. I'm not trying to be your Dr. Phil talking about what Starbucks coffee I bought or what I ate today and telling her how beautiful and gorgeous she is. And, you know, I'm, uh uh, uh uh. I'm hit, hit him with the ditty, uh uh, uh uh. You know, I'm not, I'm not with that. So, and if she's, if she's not down with that, hey, that's cool. That's completely fine. She, she can do what she wants and you're going to do what you want, right? No harm, no foul. <laughs> you feel me? You just stop talking to her and you go to, to the other one. You dig what I'm saying? And this whole time, I don't want y'all to be hyper-focused on females. I don't want you to be on this PUA shit, trying to talk to a billion chicks, wasting your time. No, focus on your passion. Like, I love making videos. I love hitting the gym. That's my main passion. That's what I love doing. So that's my number one focus, right? But in the meantime, in between time, of course, you're going to want to talk to females. So keep the ones that are down to chill with you, down to hang out with you, that have no problem catching a drink, no problem coming to your spot, you know what I'm saying? No problem walking in the park with you. Keep those and focus on those. And the chicks that just want to talk, bump their gums the whole time, just talk about absolutely nothing and FaceTime, do this cute FaceTime, you don't need to be talking to them, right? I, fellas, I've literally had chicks that will relentlessly keep DMing me after I told them, Hey, let's go out for a drink. And they're like, oh, no, maybe next time, maybe next time. I'm like, all right, I never hit them up again. They will relentlessly keep trying to talk to me in the DMs on God. On God, I kid you not. It's kind of sad. It's like, damn, baby, get you some homegirls. Get you some friends, right? I, Because I, if, if I want a friend, I'll kick it with my homeboys. Talk about lifting weights and shit like that. I don't know what I'm finna talk to you about. Loving hip hop, like I don't, I, I don't care about none of that. You feel me? And of course, a, a, a young lady's company is great. I love it. I'm never gonna stop embracing it. But at the same time, it's like if I'm trying to kick it with somebody, it's gonna be my homeboy, and we're gonna be talking about sports and shit like that. If I'm with a young lady, I want to be intimate, right? So only focus on the chicks that are intimate. And I'm gonna tell you, young ladies that are interested in you. They're going to be very responsive. It is, it's, it's easy. It is so easy. You'd be like, hey, when are you free? They're going to tell you, hey, I'm free on Thursdays or I'm free this weekend or something like that. You're like, hey, cool. Let's get up for some drinks. Okay, cool. Let's do it. She's going to be just as eager as you. Okay, so focus on the chicks that are with it and the attention-seeking chicks. They can go do that somewhere else. Because that's uh, honestly on some real shit, a chick using a guy, stringing him along for attention and stuff, that's a sign of low self-esteem. I'm going to just keep it a buck with y'all, right? You know, and, and us as guys, there's a lot of us with low self-esteem too, right? But we exhibit it in different ways. You know, guys that have their head down like this and talk all quiet and stuff, that's low self-esteem. A lot of times with some young ladies, the ones that got low self-esteem... They'll use a guy for fucking attention just to feel good about themselves, right? And so it's, I'm sorry, baby. I know we all go through some stuff, but you're going to have to handle that on your own accord, right? So anyway, with that being said, that's the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Help me out in the algorithm. Interact with me. Let me know what y'all thought about this video. Let me know if you've ever been used for attention in the bottom, all right? Peace.